Arifonia TV for your so and my papa beam at the bar acroma TV so. Nibura in Sibima, a John Dramani Mahama, at the new two, the same to just say, a new patriotic party, just say, and another double father are buying Dr. Mudbong, you are buying S.A. Gana Papa, no more collapse Gana, and no, and only do a bar, or Baba rescue Gana for, and no, that is a Dr. Mudbong, yes, so Baba replied, and so on, said, maybe every man or so, and you call him, Miss Everton, my own name, put in smart Dr. Mudbong, Mary Plow, and so that I want to know, is it here, and I will be doing well for more. His mind was. The, some of the, 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 uh, it's astonishing. As an economist, I I talked to him a lot, and 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 he, you know to think of what he was writing in in the fifties uh, was just incredible. You know, well, it it perhaps gives the proof to the adage of <laughs> there being nothing under the sun, but mm -hmm. the the difference being that other people may have spoken of the ideas, but they haven't done them. That's right. And the Kufuado government is the one that is there trying, beavering away to uh, achieve some of them. You're listening to us on Sunday night on Asasi Radio 99.5, where we're in conversation with Vice President Mahmoud Balmia, who has just been telling us about the NPP and the development work that it has been doing in the North. Now, of course, a major representative of Northern interests, as the National Democratic Congress would like to put it, is John Mahama. Right. Mahama, um, your major opponent yeah. in this election coming up uh, in December. Mm. Um, now, he and other members of the NDC have spoken comprehensively about uh, what they see as a rescue mission on which they are to save the people <laughs> of Ghana from uh, the assault on it by, by the NPP government. Um, how do you interpret that <laughs> approach and what is your response to it? Well, it's one of those terms that has been used that I find rather interesting because they're talking about wanting to come for a rescue mission. And you know, meanwhile, we, God rescued us from them in 2020, you know, because the nature of the mismanagement that was taking place in the eight years of the NDC government, and especially by 2014, they needed to go to be rescued. This economy had to be rescued by the IMF. They had to go for a rescue. That was the real rescue mission, which and is the price of mismanagement of this economy. And so they they went for a rescue mission and, 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 and they were not even able to stay the course of the IMF program. They went off track, <laughs> you know, so that rescue mission by the IMF didn't quite work because they were not following the, 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 the terms of their agreement. Of course, the real rescue that happened Happened by the grace of God with the. I know, and in so much as say, Doctor Mudubom, you are either to your no sign to your so edibi brain to your main premium of fan to your some way and put in some of Doctor Mudubom, you are to your so a kind election of Nanado Dan Kwa Kufuad. And with that election, we came into office, and again, all the things that were going wrong, we have tried to write them, and we have very much put everything back on course. Uh, we brought macroeconomic stability, we have you know, restore teacher training allowances, nursing training allowances. They were brought in new initiatives like planting for food and jobs, and one district, one factory transformation and that is taking place in this. So we have really rescued this country and this economy from the mismanagement of John Mahama. Yes. Now you don't understand what they mean by coming to rescue. Uh, and maybe we've rescued the country already and we are now building upon that. Uh, and, and so they are, uh, unless maybe they are not well informed.
Well, the NDC's argument is that uh, in the same way as the first NDP government, mm -hmm. uh, the Kofor government, mm -hmm. took Ghana into the heavily indebted poor countries initiative, mm -hmm. HIPIC, uh, what uh, the NPP Kofuado government has done is take Ghana into a heavily indebted middle income country status. <laughs> so from HIPIC to HIMIC, it's, uh, I think, the, the slogan. Um, what, I mean, do you not see that there is some justification for that, or do you see that as a natural stage in Ghana's development? Well, I, I mean, I, I, there is there's really, I mean, again, thankfully, we, were, we weren't the ones who had to say it, but both the IMF and the World Bank have said that they are, the NDC's analysis of our situation is wrong, and we are not in any danger of unsustainability of debt. Um, the Bank of Ghana, in their latest monetary policy release, has put our debt to GDP ratio at 71%. And, and that is uh, where it is. But we know why it is there. 4% of that 71% is because of the financial sector rescue of 21 billion. Another 2% is because of these power purchase agreements that they were signing with power uh, producers where we've had to pay 12 billion Ghana CDs for power that we haven't consumed. 12 billion Ghana CDs. We, we had to pay arrears of about 11 billion that they left us you know so we understand and of course with COVID coming in we've had to uh, uh, spend a bit more to protect the lives of our people and we make no apologies for that the important thing most important thing in this discussion which they lose sight of is look at the fundamentals of the economy Look at what is happening to inflation. It's de declining. Look at what's happening to interest rates. They are declining. Look at what is happening, happening to the exchange rates. It's stable. We've had the most stable exchange rate for the first term of any government since 1992. Most stable exchange rate regime. And secondly, the exchange rate... How do you interpret that? Mm -hmm. Approach and what is your response to it? Ah, and I'm the Cassibuina, this is the Cassibuina, Edio Bingi Bosichi, Macron.